So today we're on episode 3 of v Kuda Tries to Solve the World's Most Annoying and Expensive Problems. It's not war, corrupt politicians, skill-based matchmaking in any video game ever, holy shit, skill-based matchmaking is the worst thing ever. It is, again, stick drift. Up until this point, my journey's been a bit predictable, but this time I have something that's a bit more obscure, and not only is it the cheapest solution to stick drift, but in my opinion, it is the best option we have available thus far. Because this time, you don't have to throw the problem away. The problem being, these terrible, unreliable, garbage, dog shit, fuck sticks called thumbsticks made by Alps. Controllers like the Astro C40 deal with stick drift by throwing the other thumbstick away. You simply replace the problem. It's the same thing with desoldering your old thumbstick and resoldering the new one on. You again are just replacing the problem. But what if I told you for $15, providing you had minimal soldering experience, that you could fix stick drift permanently. As long as no physical damage is done to the Alps thumbstick module itself, the stick drift fix 1.1 PCBs should work indefinitely. And today we'll be talking about how it works. I'll also be giving away two pairs of these at the end of the video, one for normal stock uh, last gen and current gen Xbox and PlayStation controllers, and a pair specifically for the stick drift shit eating Elite Series 2. The creators of this PCB, it, it's been a joint effort between Helder Silva and the Solder King, which I will be leaving both of their YouTube channels down in the description below, as well as a link to Helder Silva's website, Helder's Game Tech, where you can actually purchase these PCBs for yourself. I truly do believe that Helder and the Solder King deserve a lot more attention, so go show them some love while you're down there. Show you boys some love too, we're on our way to 50k. Somehow. So these flex PCBs, which are again, named the Stick Drift Fix 1.1, are compatible with Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PS4, and PS5 controllers. There's actually specific sets made for the Elite Series 2 as well as Xbox 360 controllers too. The original works for the Elite Series 1, I believe. They're all essentially the same in terms of design, a couple of solder points and two potentiometers to recalibrate your sit sticks, you know, providing they're actually going to shit. And those potentiometers can be calibrated using a Phillips head screwdriver or any other tool that'll fit. These bitches are very, very, very specific about size though. Do not try to force anything in there. I'm not making a rape joke. Go away. Seriously though. Don't do that, you might break it. To install these little lifesavers, you simply solder the PCB to the bottom of your thumbstick. I did it with a $25 solder kit, which you guys will be seeing me do some installation uh, in the installation portion of this video. And once you're done soldering the PCB to the bottom of your controller, all you need to do is plug your controller into your computer, go to gamepadtester.com so you can calibrate your sticks, grab a tool to adjust your potentiometers, and as the late great Rainbow Snitch would say, boom, you're now able to recalibrate your thumbsticks. I can already hear the fucking comments. Oh, I change your dead zone. It's the same thing. No, it isn't. All right, look at the word dead zone. Separate it and use common sense to... Why am I asking? No one born past the year 2005 has common sense. Let me explain it for you. The audio is going to sound terrible for a minute. Just a dead zone is a zone which is dead. Your thumbstick doesn't register within the dead zone, which is where your stick drift would be, so it neutralizes it most of the time. But this decreases your overall accuracy, as there is now a, say it with me, a dead zone. There you go. And there's also going to be the counter of, why don't you just solder on a new thumbstick? A, you need a soldering iron that can go above six to 700 degrees Fahrenheit, which is gonna cost you a little bit of money. B, that is actually more expensive to do. And C, since you're gonna to have to replace the thumbstick every time you get stick drift, instead of just recalibrating it, you're gonna to have to actually do a lot more work. With this stick drift fix, you can literally counteract the stick drift brought on by your potentiometers for years to come. Just don't smash the controller, you fucking narcissist then the PCB is just won't matter. Installation is extremely, extremely easy, but I would heavily advise you to do some practicing if you've never soldered anything before this. I've actually never soldered anything up until that point. Well, I have, but I haven't actually been trying to actually do something with the solder. And sure as hell, I fucked up one of my Elite Series 2 PCBs. My bad. Now I'm gonna take it out on you! I'm just kidding, ladies. I'm not an abusive man. I just like to hit people. But this is a really, really easy solder job that most people could realistically get done with ease. The only tools you'll need are soldering iron with solder, a sponge for the soldering iron, 
a T8 6 screwdriver to take the controller apart, a knife or something to take off the controller grips, a queer box controller, of course, again, a mask because solder smells like melted deer ankles, and a meal beforehand so you aren't shaking like Drake after he dropped that new horseshit album. Listening to this is like drinking hot dog water. I would much rather listen to God talk about his mother. Go ahead and enjoy this this installation footage, it shouldn't be that bad. Some jag off that I met. He looks like a faggot too. You see the jacket he wears? Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna try to resolder on this fucked up PCB, see how this goes. So this one looks terribly deformed from the last time I did this, but yeah, that 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 about that about does it. On Helder's website, Helder Game Tech, you can find PCBs specifically made for the Fat Man series too. It's slightly bigger, but the process is essentially the same. But that's it. I mean, I really don't have any more info for you. It's just, it's just it's that simple. I mean, the Elite Series One uses the OG white PCBs, you know, the normal ones you use for the, the stock controllers. Is that what you were waiting to hear? No, of fucking course it isn't. Who uses that shit anymore? The fuck are you still? To conclude this video, if you're someone who is using some type of normal controller, it doesn't even really have to be a normal controller. It could be an Elite Series 2. It could be a controller with extreme rate kits on it, and this would still work. I have these PCBs installed in here. Hey, come here. Hey, say something to the audience. No, hey, 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 say something. Say something. Don't lie to me, bitch. I'm not cute. But for most situations, I would heavily, heavily, heavily recommend this over pretty much everything. It's by far- Can you not do that? It's by far the cheapest option. It takes very, very little skill to install. In fact, it would actually benefit you to learn that skill because it's something you'll probably need to use in the future for more controller shit. I mean, realistically, I'd recommend this over the eSwap X Pro, the Astro C40, anything like that, because at the end of the day, again, you're just swapping out the issue, tossing it away, buying a new issue just to wait for that issue to fuck you over so you have to buy another issue. So the fact that this solves the problem is a humongous deal for me. For once in a controller's lifetime, it's not a fucking paid subscription. To Helder and the Solder King for coming up with this concept and Helder for creating it. You guys are both fucking legends. I sincerely hope we can continue to work together because at the end of the day, I do want to completely solve the issue of stick drift, which is just something new. So be sure to follow them, subscribe to them, keep up with their shit because big things are coming from both of those guys later on down the line. I'm positive of it. Now for what people were waiting for. The giveaway. If you can't solder, get the fuck out of here. I'm not gonna sit here and have these wasted. I already destroyed one myself. I'm giving away one pair of the Elite Series 2 stick drift fix and one pair of the OG stick drift fix to enter the giveaway for the original stick drift fix. So the one for stock Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 controllers. I want you to comment, hashtag drift. If you want the Elite Series 2 stick drift fix, I want you to comment, Hashtag Elite Drift. As long as you have one of those fucking hashtags in your comment, you're entered. But again, experience, if you need it for this. So, uh, yeah. And again, thank you to Helder for sending those out to me to, you know, for this giveaway, which will be ending I will be announcing both winners. With all that being said, though, I think that concludes today's program or broadcast or fucking Twitch stream or fucking whatever. I hate Twitch. And to all my viewers, I wish you guys the best of luck in your stick drift experiences. I love you guys. I will see you in my next review, whatever the shit I'm doing. Peace out. Take it easy.